I'm paid big bucks to work with some teams in the National Football League. Put yourself in my position. They want me to come in and motivate their players to stretch and take it to the next level. And here's my predicament. When I walk into that NFL meeting room, there are 53 professional football players who collectively represent over $105 million in annual salary. So what would you say? Can you motivate them with money? No. How do we know that? When my dad passed away, there was no money truck following him to the, to, 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 to the cemetery. You'll eventually run out of money. I have close friends who make millions of dollars a year, and they're flat broke. Money's not a motivator. Can you motivate them with benefits and bonuses? Absolutely not. We think we can buy loyalty? That's no way to create a friendship or create a business. Can you motivate them with awards and rewards? Absolutely not. Absolutely not, because there's only enough to go around. The only thing that motivates them is the only thing that motivates us. Expectations. What is possible if you just believe? What is possible if we can just see someone else doing what we're dreaming to do? Let's talk about expectations. So I'm inviting you into that NFL meeting room. And ahead of time, I have the captain of the team and an assistant coach hold a broomstick 12 inches above the floor. And ahead of time, I get the name of the very best athlete, the purest athlete on the team, the guy who can actually jump 38 inches high. Do you know how high that is? Without getting a running start, they just stand there and go, Poof. they eat like a Big Mac, Diet Coke before they land. Poof. You're like, whoa, dude. And isn't it interesting? They're always in the back of the room. So I call him out by name. He's like, Poof. why'd you wake me up? Don't you read the newspaper clippings? Don't you know who I am? I know who I am. I read all the papers. So I don't let him off the hook. Come on, man, come up and help us. He's like, Poof. His teammates cheer him on. So sure enough, he saunders up to, the, up to the front of the room, takes him 22 and a half minutes. He finally gets to the front of the room. He's standing in front of this broomstick 12 inches off the floor, and I ask him the question, do you think you can jump over that 12-inch high broomstick? <laughs> Why are you wasting my time? Attitude. So I change the question. Do you think you can jump over that 12-inch high broomstick? <laughs> Do it. And here's the, the object lesson, the teaching moment. Why did you only jump 12 inches high when you and your teammates know you can jump 38 inches high? And the answer is always the same. Because that's all you asked me to do. How high is your bar? Who's stretching you? Who is firing you up? And because these conventions can only come around every once in a while, and you can realistically only have so many meetings in your neighborhood, in your country, at some point we better figure out a way to stretch ourselves, and then as we stretch ourselves and get together with others who are stretching themselves, we understand the power of a good, clean, pure, powerful, positive, mighty dream.